Hi. During my last hospitalization, the doctor that examined examined my case expressed his concern in his medical report, in his diagnosis, about the fact that was uh, that I as had been bullied, bullied as a child by some people of my age at school so that I could develop my psychosis in adult in an adult age. This does was this um was completely true because the worst bullying I suffered as a child was due to my parents. My parents was were the ones who bullied me for over thirty years. Um, I I'll try I'll try to explain. I'm going to explain now why I think this was bullying. As a child, as a child, I was a different kind of child. I was very silent and I never smiled, and I was an autistic, an autistic child. Even if a type one autistic, I was able to speak. I was very intelligent. As at school, but I was a very introvert and a difficulty to express my emotions and I was very um, kind of shy, but I didn't give much importance to the ex to the external world. I just live, lived uh, in my own world, in my mind, and I speak. I spoke to myself. I had many uh, fake friends. I, I, I mean many imaginary friends, and these uh, made me look, made me look to my parents as a strange kind of child. They used to tell me, especially my father, especially my father, uh, they used to tell me, used to, to tell me that I was completely inadequate to the world, to the society, that um, I was a failure as human being, um, that I needed to be uh, locked in an asylum, in an asylum, and that I would lead a completely unhappy and um, failed life. This conditioned my whole existence as a human being and made me become the man with a mask that you see today. A man who is, who is afraid of external world, who think that society is a bad one, that men and women are, are cruel and insensitive of my inner needs of affection of, sec of security of self-esteem this is bullying according to me my parents manipulated me for decades and made me a very insecure man my father always my father often beat me and spit at, spat at me and insulted me uh, even acted with me 
as a bullying child. He was so angry and nervous and the, 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 just the fact of seeing me as a very silent and quiet child made me angry and violent. Um, and my mother just tried to give his, her support to my father, uh, just telling him that I was such a strange boy, that she was scared of me because I never talked, because I never acted la like uh, the other child, the children. So I spent my whole life closed in a room. Nobody asked me to go out. Nobody asked me to speak or to uh, participate in the other family activities. This is in the first year, then in the first years of my life. Then when I started to grow up, I, I started to hate them too and to refuse to see them. If maybe, even if maybe I could have been able to go out and seek for help, I never did it. Or oh, did it when it was too late, after I was 30 years old, when other people looked at me, uh, saw me as an adult, old and ugly human being, so nobody wanted to help me anymore. Well, I made this video to explain to you that bullying, bullying is not something, something that happens in the external world, at school, in the, on the street, on the streets, etc. But bullying can also um, happen in families beyond the wall, among the walls of your house inside your families etc stupid ignorant and violent parents can be their children's bullies well now what will you what you see in my videos is just what uh, remains of my life of my poor psychophysical existence and I'm proud I still manage to survive in some way in the room where I spent my world, the worst years of my life, the rooms where I spent the worst years of my life. Thank you for listening to me and see you in the next videos.